Uh, hi, everybody. A lot of people are asking about um, radio frequency skin tightening. There's a lot of skin tightening devices, and energy based skin tightening is definitely the current trend in plastic surgery. Um, you know, some kind of old school surgeons, myself included, still believe that minimally invasive equals minimal results. Uh, but the truth is, these new technologies are starting to bridge the gap between surgical outcomes and what we used to call non-surgical outcomes. So we are starting to see real surgical looking results of skin reduction without cutting out skin the old fashioned way. Um, and I have a lot of technologies that help do this. Um, some of them are surgical where we insert probes under the skin. Some of them we literally stamp needles into the skin and still others are totally non-surgical uh, and non-invasive where we put basically like pads on your skin and we can cause and affect some soft tissue change with that alone. But um, by far the most uh, popular procedure that I offer as a, as a plastic surgeon uh, involves both liposuction and skin tightening. Um, some of you may have heard of it as body tight. Um, there's a lot of different technologies, J Plasma by Renuvion, um, a Vaser, a Smart Lipo, there's just a lot of different technologies that allow us to capitalize on causing thermal injuries down deep to affect long-term collagenesis or creation of collagen and tightening of that collagen or remodeling of it so it causes soft tissue contraction. So when I was thinking about investing in technologies five or six years ago in my own practice, I really wanted something that I can see the effect of. I mean, cool sculpting is something that everybody's heard of, and, and one of the reasons that it never really kind of sunk in with me is because I, I can't imagine just putting a cold probe on somebody's skin and not really needing anesthesia and expecting that to, to cause meaningful fat reduction. And it seems like the reviews of that technology are both positive and neutral, sometimes negative, but the bottom line is I need to see, feel, hear something work and and radio frequency skin tightening the way I do it with my in mode product um, allows me to stick a probe under the skin in real time measure temperatures and know that I am injecting a lot of energy into soft tissues uh, and getting temperatures as high as 160 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit um, that I know for a fact are going to cause some degree of a deep injury and long term collagenesis leading to remodeling leading to contraction. Um, in fact, two days ago or yesterday, uh, I did a procedure that was a hybrid procedure. It was a mini tummy tuck plus a uh, radio frequency skin tightening. Um, above the belly button, there's not much I can do um, as far as cutting out skin unless I do a full tummy tuck. So people who want mini tummy tucks and they want their upper abdomen addressed, that's when I would use radio frequency skin tightening in those cases. It's a hybrid mini tummy tuck if you want to think of it that way. But what's cool about this case yesterday in particular was that it gave me an opportunity to show you guys how this works in real time, to show you a three-dimensional piece of soft tissue and then show you this, this probe, this radio frequency heating probe in action. So it's not just talking about it. You can do what I, when I invested in, you can see why I did. You can see and hear, and in my case, feel the heat, but then we also pair it with liposuction. So not only are you doing this, but you're also performing direct body contouring. This combination of procedures is definitely the next wave of plastic surgery. And I'm excited to show you in this rare video, this rare opportunity, um, how this works in real time. With a sample of tissue that I obtained in today's case, I am able to show you guys in real time how this works. So the way body tight works is you enter this probe through a tiny little portal into the soft tissues and you heat up the entire block starting with the superficial areas. You can see here, you've got the sizzling of tissue, you've got direct contraction of tissue, and then you go into the deep layer. And the way it works is this. Fat in the abdomen, for example, is divided into compartments. You've got a superficial compartment and a deep compartment separated by, in this case, scarpus fascia. Then you've got these fascial septae, these little like tree branches that go throughout. And if we insert enough energy in the form of heat into this tissue, it's gonna create collagenesis, causing all of these little rope-like attachments to contract. And the big picture in the long term is collagenesis leading to remodeling of soft tissues and ultimately shrink wrapping of the skin envelope after liposuction. So it is a really awesome tool. 
It's designed not to injure the overlying skin and to carefully control the injury we cause to give you the kind of results that you can see in my own patients. For example, here's a picture of a before and after of body tight of the abdomen and flanks. And here's one of body tight of the face. We call it face tight. Finally, here's an example of using radio frequency assisted lipolysis and liposuction, aka body type, of the arms. If you have any other questions, make sure to call us or follow us here on YouTube or Instagram at Zelkin Institute, and we'd like to see you soon. Thanks so much.